Hi, it's January 2nd, 2019. Seems like a broken record. We're always talking about the same thing. At least I know I'm always talking about the same thing, about kids not getting educated. And it doesn't seem like it's a just a local issue for Sacramento. It's happening here, too, in Las Vegas, and I think it's happening nationwide. I mean, I've been involved in public education for a long time because I raised my children. I have all this gray hair now, but I've attended lots of public board meetings. I participated in so many community meetings and also school site councils, school committees, committees at the state level, committees at the county level. It's just about engagement and understanding what engagement really means. It means being a part of the process. You know, we live in America and somehow we were granted our citizenship. We've been emancipated for more than 150 years. And what did that bring you? What is the value of citizenship for African American peoples? I can tell you, you can't count it on one finger. Because our, the value is from what they, or just from, from what's accepted in society, is that you don't have the opportunity to oversee not one penny of public funds that are utilized to provide support for you as a people. What does that look like? It looks like failure and nobody's counting what you don't get to benefit from. It's like, oh, we need so much more money to help those poor little black children that are not getting educated. And guess what? No matter how much money you dump in the community, it's not going to help those little poor little black children who are not learning because you're not going to hold yourself accountable to ensure that it happens. And it's just not, it, you just can't look at it like it is something that's only happening to black children. It's happening to people in America. We're all suffering because there's no bottom. Special education was going to be the bottom. And actually it is if you understand that we're only talking about federal law and federal rules and federal government and the federalism of federal rights that we were granted our freedom under the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th Amendment. We should have kind of ensured that we had the benefit from benefiting from the public services because we all pay taxes. Well, when that money comes back to local communities, you don't find black people in charge of how that money is being spent. No, you really don't. You found people who have been involved with the system and the process for a long time. Hell, this is 2018. But it was like in the 60s or something, civil rights, you know. And then we're still fighting. And then so many black people just don't vote. So they're not a part of the oversight. They don't even have a voice in what's not happening. Because the assumption is if you have children, that they'll get an education somehow because they'll just show up, follow the rules. The rules say your children must attend public school. That's what the district attorney says. Truancy is a real issue. Well, I'm going to leave off for now. I can't really see my minutes. I'm going to have to set my camera up so I can see the minutes. But I'm going to upload this and give you time to respond. And I'm going to do several videos because right now I'm just frustrated. I'm frustrated with the cons my concerns of the communication or the conversation that's really not happening for our people. Sac City has an 80% failure rate for African American students who are scoring under the 50th percentile for reading and math. What does that look like? It looks like maybe at their continuation school only 3% of the kids are at or above the 50th percentile for reading and math and that's a continuation school. So how are those services even being measured to continuing education for kids who are not making it in the regular school? Anyways, I'll be back at you. This is Darlene Anderson. I'm going to do some Facebook parenting tips. I'm going to put it on Facebook. I'm going to upload it to YouTube, though, because I'm going to control my own content. There's so much that you can do and so much that we can do to change things. And understand, when President Trump said that we have choice, understand the power in choice. That's what you have to understand. You have to understand the rules, and you have to understand that you're accepting the failure if you accept and act.